out there in eBay and YouTube land. I am uh, doing this video to demonstrate a base that I've got up on eBay for sale. Uh, I've priced it at 1500 bucks, and it's worth every single penny. Um, <clears throat> you can see it's a Lake Placid Blue 70s jazz base. It's crafted in Japan. Um, and it's uh, just a fantastic base. It's super rare. The only other one that I've seen on eBay is an actual 70s jazz bass with Lake Placid Blue. It's a little bit more worn than this one, which is awesome mojo, but uh, it's $8,000. So good luck trying to buy that one. <laughs> Here's a more reasonably priced version of about the same thing. Um, the thing that's great about these crafted in Japan basses, uh, this reissue series, this is from about 2005, um, is they come with extremely high quality pots. They're all CTS pots, um, orange drop cap, uh, the pickups are gray fiber bobbin cloth wire vintage wound. Um, I tested the resistance on them and they're, you know, at a, a so somewhat lower resistance, which is really cool. Um, makes it very, very punchy and really tight. Um, and you can see the neck is bound with pearl block inlays. Uh, very sexy look. Um, pretty highly sought after right now. And, um, the finish is that Lake Placid Blue. It's really nice. Uh, gives a somewhat green look sometimes, somewhat blue look sometimes. Um, you can see we have a matching headstock with the vintage 70s Fender logo on it. Um, big old elephant ear tuners on there. Um, and the, the covers, which you can remove if you want to. Um, the only things that are not stock on this is uh, it came with strap locks from the previous owner that I bought it from. Um, but I will be sure to include uh, the buttons because what it didn't come with were these little things that clip onto them. <laughs> so that was a bit of pain in the butt to track down. Um, you can also see that we have a three bolt, so it's pretty vintage correct um, to the 70s bases. The only thing about this base that is not vintage correct, um, but some would argue that it could be, is that the pickup spacing has the 60s um, pickup spacing instead of the 70s. So in the 70s they scooted the pickup about a half an inch further back towards the bridge um, and it gave it a sort of different sound which is one of the things that's sought after on the 70s basses. But I really like the sound of the 60s um, bass and I like the pickups being just slightly closer together. It gives it a real um, growl. So this this guitar this bass has got some serious growl on it when you really start digging in. Um, and I tend to play pretty heavy handedly. So I'm going to give you a, um, a few demo songs, give you a sense of kind of the overall tone of it. Um, most people leave all three knobs at full, and so we're going to start there. Um, you can get a pretty killer Motown sound out of this. Um, Uh, doing something funny so you can hear it's very very punchy it's got a really tight and solid low end it's got fantastic sustain you hear that growl there that's in there so um, the growl really starts to present itself when you back off the volume on you know one of the pickups and go single turn the tone down so you'll hear when I start laying down some John Paul Jones kind of sounds, um, you can really hear it just, you know, dig in. Um, so it's really cool. It's 
got a really great, you know, you back off some of these things and you can get some very interesting tones. This is just the, the bridge pickup. kind of sound. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of other genres. The jazz bass is kind of a workhorse. It's been around for a long time. Um, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's the sound that I favor. So I'm hoping you guys love this bass as much as I do. Um, I think it's a fantastic buy um, and like I said, super rare. I haven't found or seen many of these for sale and if, if you do see them, they're typically in, they're really hard to get. The last one that's sold that's even close to this price was uh, last year sometime. I mean, kind of middle of the year. Um, so, you know, they're, they're rare, they're hard to find and they're very rarely on eBay. You typically have to search the bass player forums to find them, so. Um, slap bass, does it does a pretty cool. It still sounds pretty good. So, yeah, you get the point. Hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy this bass um, and seek it out. You know you want to buy it. It is so beautiful. Um, so I will throw up the, um, the auction on the description for this video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks guys, have a good one. Thank you.